So guys, welcome. Uh, I'm Heather. I'm going to explain you today how to make a attractive uh, reactor, as you can see in the picture. So the one in the picture really looks uh, absurd. So if you are going to, if you are thinking to use this kind of reactor in your uh, presentations or in your uh, manuscript or in your post or anything. Uh, I can assure you that you won't go anywhere with such a drawing. So uh, here's a quick tutorial so you can use and follow and uh, I really made it easy to understand and really use simple tools instead of using Photoshop and all that powerful tools. So you can do anything with PowerPoint and until and unless you know, you know some basic tools and how to handle. So I'm just using simple shapes so what I'm doing is I'm making the uh, pressure release valves, pressure uh, safety valves. Uh, uh, I'm making the PRVs, uh, pressure safety valves, yeah, uh, pressure safety valves, yeah, so I'm making them, so you can see that uh, there are two of them, so what I'm doing, I'm just uh, making the upper part with the small circles, uh, cylindrical shaped circles, and with the rectangle shaped uh, long bars to represent their length, and then I'm going to change their presets so that they can look according to them, so as you can see, there's a black part on the top of it, and there's a square uh, gray gradient in between and then comes another part so what you have to do is you have to think in a way how you can use different shapes in the powerpoint and making them in an innovative way so slowly and uh, i'm going to go through and next part is that uh, i'm going to make something which is okay so now i'm going to make the grooves of the uh, safety valve as you can see uh, there are small small parts over there like small squares so you can make them a small square we can they can show like the edges or the uh, you, it's just like making a nut like a uh, like a nut shape so you can use different squares and combine them make them a shape so I'm gonna put it back onto the uh, the gray cylinder and you can see that now it's uh, started started to look some much better than the before one uh, i'm sorry for the flickering on the screen because i don't know what's the problem with the frame rate of the recorder so that's why it's having some problem so now the next thing is that the first top two parts are done they are two identical so what you can do is you can make one and then you can copy and paste and then use the same one so now i'm going to make the valves so which are connecting these pressure gauges and the pressure shape pressure release valve so what i what i'm going to do is I'm going to make a plus sign and now I'm going to use a square so that I can make the uh, entrance points like like this so I'm going to use uh, four of them two on the side and two on the top so this really gives a good shape so once you know once you make a drawing so you can change the color uh, depending upon your needs so what you do is uh, I prefer to make the shape first then I change the color in the end so that uh, I want to see if uh, this kind of color looks more attractive or the other kind of color looks more attractive so it depends upon my knees and also depends upon the looks so in the current situation right now it's looking quite boring so I'm just going to uh, tune it a little bit and I'm gonna see how can I make it more beautiful so right now just uh, managing this part so that we can go towards the next part so once this four way valve is done four way connectors is done so I'm going to connect it with the, the NRVs above uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm taking the wrong name or not. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, okay. So I'm just. So one thing is that uh, when you make a shape, they are, and when you reduce the size, they become a little bit uh, distorted. So what I suggest is that you can copy that as a picture, but keep the original original shape, and then you can reduce the size. So that's one way I do, which makes it really easier for me to change the big size original pictures into small size without distorting the images because. When you drag them, make them small from the corners, it really distorts the image and really gives a bad look, which means, which shows like that you copied from somewhere and now you distorted the image. So that's how I'm doing it. So what I do is, uh, first I put the picture, I remove the lines, border lines, and then I send the picture to the back. And that's how I make it equal or make it look uh, as similar as a part of that so that one may feel that I made it, that like this was originally a one, one piece, but it's not exactly but I just connected them so that they merge them so naturally that you cannot distinguish between different parts so as you can see now the shape the picture is getting uh, the graphics getting much better now and looking quite better now so once you are done slowly step by step you can uh, keep on keep on doing that and you see one part is done uh, so don't focus and don't worry for the colors and all that just focus on the drawing for itself first make a basic drawing 
and then when it's done then you go towards the improvements so first you make a base design and then you go to the towards the more improved design so uh, this is my base uh, base design as you see the bigger picture is looking really clean and all that when you make it small it starts to look, it starts to give an impression of the one shown in the picture the one in the picture looks really absurd i cannot i don't want to put that kind of image in my manuscript or somewhere else which can give a bad impression so uh i also i uh, i also made these one for my manuscript and i used them over there and really really was looking an awesome piece and uh as you can see that now i have put the gauge here and the gauge also uh, okay the gauge is the one i copied from the internet and I used uh, just a generic uh, vector for the gray uh, for just a picture without a color background. I prefer to use pictures without backgrounds, or even if you have a background, uh, PowerPoint has a feature to remove the background. You can check in the uh, if you double click on the picture, it gives you option for the remove background. So now I'm putting the original picture here so that if I want to edit it before later, I can do it. So now this is a picture, so I can increase the size and reduce the size depending upon my area or depending upon my, uh, the available space I'm going to make the drive with the motor for the reactor which is the red in color in the background so first I will make a small shell on the top and then the followed by a body with a square and then I also have a small body in the bottom so I will just reduce the top part of the top part that I made it before I'm just going to put it down so as you can see uh, these are the top parts and I'm just going to make it equal and then I'm going to change the color, move the outline and uh, see, uh, I just use an eyedropper to select the color of the reactor and that looks pretty much nice so I'm just going to reduce the length and then copy one more, reduce its size so that it can show me a bump at the bottom the one you can see over there and here you go, here's a driver for the motor and now what you do is you put the, the drawing that you made before on the top of it and see which one looks better this one or that one obviously this one the one that you made right now so guys uh, this is the half part of the picture mostly almost done so the other part is the reactor part you need to add a reactor so that you can complete the drawing uh, I didn't add much pictures I didn't add uh, like two details like I didn't work a lot of them just made uh, it quickly so that I can quickly wind it up so that whenever I make it next time uh, some new new infographics I can explain and you will already know the basic steps how I do it so uh, now I'm making the reactor I choose the lid as a square and with the sharp edges you can also use uh, soft edges which is the rounded edges on the ground the corners and for the body I use a long rectangle and as you can see I'm motion shape now the main part is then how do you want to make your reactor you want to show it like a, a colorful blue picture or you want to make it uh, show like as a uh, uh, as a pattern or you want to make, uh, make it as a gradient or whatever it depends upon what you like or how you want your reactor to look like so I'm just trying different colors and just see what it uh, what what wow, what looks more better so I'm just uh, just trying a little bit uh, okay, uh, so initially I start with uh, no color so I can see what actually what actually is happening inside and get the uh, how is it looking so later on I change the color depending upon the requirements which I will show you in examples uh, a few moments later stay tuned and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe my channel thank you <laughs> I need to do that sorry so, okay so now this is uh, you can connect or you can add as much connectors or you can add uh, whatever you like to do this is uh, actually a thermostat and there was also one this is actually a mixer or uh, stirrer and then there comes a thermostat also I didn't attach that one so I'm just making a, a stirrer at the bottom uh, so it's just like a bow tie so I'm just going to use it as a picture and going to put it down at the bottom and remove the outlines so I'm gonna group it as a picture and then I'm gonna put it at the bottom of that line which will represent our stirrer here you go and then you can also attach different lines uh, which can show which can represent thermostat or you can add more things like uh, the pressure pre for pressure release or something like that or you can also add for like if you add if you want to add uh, like uh, uh, yeah if you want to add external gas like um, some other inert gas if you want to release some gas whatever like if there are if you want to add new reactants something like that if you have a multiple reactor blah 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 you can do whatever you want depending upon your requirements or whatever you need so that's most of it uh, we are mostly done so that's the basic diagram so you can learn from this one like how you do it like you need to think in your mind like 
what should I do? So now I want to color this picture. So, so instead of using a square box, I'm just using the same shape but reducing the size and adding a color and then I will remove the borders for this picture. And then you, as you can see that I removed the outline and just reduce the size a little bit so that it can look like it's a part of that reactor and you can see what's going on inside. So I'm just going to use this little small color and then bring the stir on the front so that it represents and show the series inside and then you can change the color if you want and uh, you can you can make it hot to show the hot liquid you can uh, then do whatever so I just uh, use it as a picture now I'm going to copy this and also paste it as a picture and put it here and see how it looks so so guys this is the first part and uh, I hope you guys understood how I did it and I hope you guys was helpful for you guys and if you guys have any comments or any any questions like if you want to know how to do something I'm also going to put something some new videos for the graphics as well as, as some other parts which includes the economic assessments for some small projects and uh, uh, anything that you want regarding the scientific knowledge or anything like designing something you may ask it or write down in the comments I will help you out so this is the one picture I made for my friend uh, the one in the slide number three it was also a power also setup and now you can see I changed the color and I had different uh, schemes so I'm, I showed the red spots like a hot water and then some solid for using the black dots and then the the brown one to show, to show some oil and all that stuff and here you can see yeah they are really good in quality high quality no matter how much you increase the size they are not going to get blurred so guys i recommend you use these kind of dry gums and you it's very easy to make and if you have any questions please leave down a comment uh, like my videos watch my videos and please do subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day